everyone! My name is Zoe and we are going to do a movement workshop together. So put on some comfortable clothes, find a space in your room where you have enough space to move around and let's do a warm-up. Begin in a nice comfortable position, your head reaching up to touch the ceiling. Do this with me, reaching all the way up to touch the ceiling with your head. Your shoulders are opening like wings to the side of the room. Do this with me, shoulders opening like wings to the side of the room. Your legs are nice and long, like you are putting on a pair of high-waisted trousers. Do this with me, your legs are nice and long, putting on high-waisted trousers. Relax your arms, ready to begin. We begin by bouncing in the knees, nice and relaxed. We're gonna make it heavier and heavier. And now we're going to do this movement really heavy, really heavy, like you are flicking water off your hands. Last time. Good, we're gonna lift up like wings. And down. I want this to be nice and light. One more time. And this is the last time. We are going to jog on the spot. Nice and quick. Quick as you can. Quick as you can. And slow motion. Slow motion. One more time. We're going to go quick, quick feet. Jogging as quickly as you can. All the way, very quick. And slow motion. Good. Lovely. We're going to draw straight lines. All around. Good, copy me. Straight lines. And straight. To finish off, we're gonna do some wavy lines going down to the floor. Wavy lines coming all the way up. One more time. And all the way up. Good. We're going to tense up our body. Lift your shoulders up to your ears. Hold your fists really tense. And we're going to relax on the count of three. One, two, three. One more time. Tense up. Really clench your fist. And relax on the count of three. One, two, three. Relax. Good. Take a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Well done everyone, hopefully you're nice and warm. Get a sip of water and we'll come back and start some dancing. Now we are nice and warm, we are going to be exploring our own movement. Movement can have different weight. Movement can be heavy and movement can be light. A heavy movement looks as if you are carrying something heavy around the room, like this. Now, try your example of a heavy movement, carrying something heavy around the room. A light movement looks as if you are floating up in the air. It might look like this. Now you 
try your example of a light movement. Now we will try with the music. First up, heavy movement. Have a look how I do it. Slow movement is as if you have a nice piece of silk and you are stroking it. We are going to try and move quickly and slowly to one piece of music. Here is how I do it.
hands with different weight, heavy and light. We have danced with different speed, quick and slow. Now we are going to dance with different direction, straight or wavy. Straight movements look as if you painted a straight line in the room. They have purpose and they have intention. Try a few straight movements on the spot. Here is my example. Wavy movements look like you are painting a wavy line. They don't have a purpose and they are usually quite messy. Try out a few wavy movements. Here is my example. to imagine we are painting in the room using our bodies. Put your hands in your imaginary paint pot, put your elbows in the paint, your shoulders, your hips, your knees, your feet, your nose, your head. We are going to paint the room with straight lines and wavy lines. Make sure you use your whole body. Have a look at my example. to hold your hands towards me and I want you to test, tense your fists and clench them and hold them and I want you to feel the tension in your hands and I want you to move with that tension. See how your body moves with all that tension and now I want you to let that go and feel how nice and soft your hands feel. And I want you to move your hands with that softness. Try it one time using your whole body. Tense it up and try and move. And then relax it and try and move. So in the end, we have different weight, heavy and light, heavy, light, do it with me, heavy, light, we have different speed, fast and slow, fast, slow, 
Do it with me. Fast. Slow. We have different directions. Straight. Do it with me. Straight. And wave. Do it with me. Wave. Last, we have energy. We have tense and relax. Do it with me. Tense and relax. Well done. This is our morning session. I will see you later for your afternoon session. Welcome back! In this afternoon session, we are going to be using all the movement we've done before to make up our own dance. For this, you might need some help, so make sure you ask for it. You will also need a pen and some paper ready to write. The first thing I would like you to do is to write down on your paper weight, speed, direction, and energy. Now what I would like you to do is think about weight. Which one did you prefer? Was it heavy movement, strong, like pushing something heavy across the room? Or was it the light movement, like a butterfly, butterfly in the air? When you decide on your favorite one, I want you to write it down under the weight column. Then I would like you to think about speed. Which one did you like best? The losing your keys, panic, quick movement, or the sloth-like stretching movement. When you decide your favorite, I want you to write it down under speed. The third thing you will decide is about directions. Did you enjoy painting straight lines across the room or did you enjoy better the wavy movement across the room? When you decide, I want you to write it down under directions. And last thing, which one did you enjoy best? Holding tension in your body while you're moving around or relaxing and showing me a very easy going movement. When you decide, I want you to write it down under energy. Here's my example of what I chose. For weight, I like heavy movement. For speed, I like quick movement. For direction, I like wavy movement, and for energy, I like tense movement. Make sure you have four words written on your piece of paper. Now, I want you to practice and decide on one movement for each of the words. When you decided 
on one movement for each word. Practice, practice, practice. Make sure you remember them. Now you need to connect each word together so that it's like one sentence. You can keep the same order or you can switch up your order. Here is my new order. I have wavy, heavy, quick, and tense. When you reach that stage, well done. You have your sequence of four movements. We now are going to change a few things. I want you to think about the level of your movement. We have high, middle, and low. I would like you to change one of your movements into a different level. For example, instead of doing my shoulder wavy movement, up high and my wavy arm up high, I might do them low. So instead of this, it looks like this. Now you try. Choose one movement and change the level. It could... The second thing I will change is the size of a movement. From a big movement to a small movement. Or from a small to a big. For example, I want to change my big tense movement to a small tense movement. So this is how my phrase looks now. To finish your sequence, I want you to practice performing it one last time. Choose a piece of music you like and dance to the music. Remember, use your whole body, your whole expression and your eyes. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you had a great time learning about movement, its weight, its speed, its direction and its energy. See you next week.